I want to do a three minute illustration of setting up a piping system, running the analysis, uh, uh, providing the data, looking at the results, doing the whole uh, process. So here we have a blank screen. We're doing a new system. Uh, for this particular one, I think I'm going to turn on grids. We don't have a background map. Let me turn on 1,000 foot grids, go back to the map, and zoom out a couple times. And so we've got uh, this area to guide us. Uh, now I'm just going to start laying out the system. Uh, supposedly I have a sketch or uh, some guidance to do this. So I'll just start here with a uh, right click and then uh, move on and uh, lay out parts of the system. Okay, suppose this is a system. Once you've uh, done the uh, preliminary layout to show the pipe links, you're going to have all junction nodes in there uh, or intermediate nodes. We'll need to change these end nodes uh, to reservoirs or tanks. We're just going to change this to a reservoir. And I'll change this to a uh, reservoir. It could be a tank for an extended period simulation. And I'll change this to a reservoir. Uh, so now this is the layout. I'll have flow coming in and out of this system to the various reservoirs. Now I'm going to enter pipe data and you can do this. We've already got some pipe types in there. I'll select the pipe and I'm going to make this say a 6 inch PVC. I'll make uh, these this a 4 inch PVC. I'll make this one a, a 6 inch PVC. I'll make this one a 6 inch PVC, now 4 inch PVC. I'll make this one a 6 inch PVC. I'll make this one a 4 inch PVC. And I'll make this one a 6 inch PVC. Now note as we enter that we get in the length scaled and the roughness is entered from the uh, pipe type data. So basically all the pipe data has been entered except minor losses and uh, we won't include any of those. Now I need to get elevations and grades in there. Let's put this uh, an elevation. Let's make the elevations around 200 feet. And the grade in here, let's make that around uh, 260 feet. Uh, up here, make the elevation uh, say uh, 200 feet. And the grade, I'll just key that in. Let's make that also 220 and this one down here I'll make a higher one I'll put in the elevation say of uh, 260 and a grade let's say of uh, 320 now I've got some additional elevations here to enter uh, let me enter that elevation let's say that's around 205 feet and uh, let's take this elevation is uh, say uh, 212 feet and delete this we're going to have some problems if we don't get that right let me see that was right uh, this one let's make it uh, 210 feet and this one let's make it 220 feet so we have all the data entered. Now it would be good to go in and turn on labels like the elevations. Make sure we have elevations for all the points. And we do. This intermediate node is not necessary. So now we can do an analysis. First we do an error check and we get no errors. That's good. And then we do the analysis. And uh, we're doing this off screen, a K-wipe analysis. And it takes just a few seconds to complete this. And as soon as it's complete, I can turn on labels like the pipe results. Uh, this would be the flow rates, 180 here, 244 going here, 479 coming in here. I can turn on the hydraulic grade lines or the uh, pressures. Let's turn on the pressures. We have some fairly low pressures here, anything from 27, 35 on down. So that's basically the way we do this. Uh, let me quickly add a pump here just to see what happened. So if I select this and insert an intermediate node 
and then change that intermediate node to a pump. And the pump is going in this direction. And let me just put in a, uh, say, a constant power pump to get, a, to get something in here quite quickly. Of course, the elevation we know is around 200. Let's put in a power of, say, 50 horsepower. And uh, we can now run the analysis. And this bursts the flow from that reservoir. And uh, as we see, we've got 788 gallons per minute and about 78 PSI. So this is a uh, complete look. Of course, we have a report here that will give us all the information about the system, the complete KY pipe report. Uh, so this is a uh, sort of a three-minute drill on how to set up and run a system.